Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Konami's Japanese staff have made their own version of how they play the Vendred deck. This is mostly to give you some ideas of how you could build yours, and I hope um, possibly in the future to either play a live stream with this deck, or if that isn't possible, I will record a few duels using it to play test it. I will do this either through YouTube or by my Twitch account under the name Peter Caru. Uh, judging Purely from the style of the deck, it works with the typical revive from the graveyard and synchro version that we all know and love. For example, by using Foolish Burial to send a Mizuki to the graveyard, and then it can remove itself from play in order to bring back a uni zombie. This helps to go into a number of synchro monsters, as it can alter monster levels by one. How towards is necessary to give the ritual zombie effects... Um, Hound Horde permits spell and trap removal as a quick effect. Fusion Recycling Plant enables you to search out uh, for a polymerization once per turn and to retrieve a fusion material from the graveyard during that end phase, enabling recovery of resources which uh, used to be a great weakness of fusion monsters. Uh, terraforming is used to search out for Fusion Recycling Plant as this needs to be brought out as quickly as possible. Dragon's Mirror is used to bring out Starvik Venom Fusion Dragon, who can steal monster effects, which can make it a very unpredictable card. Uh, and depending on the skill of the uh, player in particular, if they can uh, time it well, they can get um, some very decent effects off. Super Polarization for those mirror matches and with something like a dragon-based deck, could bring out Venom uh, Dragon more easily whilst removing an obstacle monster from your opponent. The fact it cannot be negated is the most lethal part, as they realise they cannot do anything, uh, the opponents, and they have to watch and uh, witness their suffering, basically. Both pre and uh, preparation of rights, so you've got pre preparation of rights and preparation of rights, help to search out your ritual spell and monster to make it easier to summon, whilst not cost costing uh, resources. Again, a significant problem known within rituals uh, that they've tried to fix by, um, you know, building into effects within their own ritual cards, as well as the monsters, and even, you know, giving them effects through, you know, the cards they're sending to the graveyard. Uh, Foolish Burial helps to stack the graveyard in case you use monsters that could revive from the graveyard or helps others uh, revive, such as through the effect of Mizuki. The last card is Burial from a different dimension, more useful later in on a duel, as you would have removed plenty of monsters, whether that is through uh, Dragon's Mirror or from cards such as Mizuki, who can then replay their effects. The extra deck is um, pretty self-explanatory Dragon Necro, uh, requires any two zombies, making it uh, generic. It can reduce your opponent's monster's attack to zero, and creates a token with the same attack and level, so it can be used for a synchro, or just as another monster. Starving Venom is useful for different situations, being able to abuse uh, monster effects from either player, it means you will find an effect that works within your current circumstances, Cyframe Lord Omega is used to help banish your opponent's hand. This means it can interrupt their strategy and make it difficult for combo pieces um, and combo based decks to function. Tornado Dragon is uh, there to remove spell and trap cards that are problematic, such as store cards or effects that intend to cripple your deck, such as lose one turn. As for Evil Swarm Exciton Knight, it is used to clear the board. If your opponent has more cards, you use this to bring them to the same number as you do. So, what do you guys think of this deck? Do you like it, uh, how it functions? Like I said, I will play, uh, be play testing this deck and I'll find some way to show it off. Uh, look forward to that. Uh, leave your comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. 
And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.